literature search. This module introduces you to searching tools and techniques. So, we are providing a toolbox for literature search. Snowball technique is normally used for literature search. Then knowledge of word versus concept search also will be covered. We use thesaurus and thesauri in different subjects are available which help you in formulation of keywords. We also have to use Boolean logic which is one of the important tools. And using Boolean logic also is a skill which can be developed by the researcher. And use of wildcard search, which is facilitated in databases. These are the points which are going to be covered in this module. Thus, at the end of this module, you will be able to explain various techniques and skills for searching relevant literature. Searching skills. Snowball technique is a technique which is commonly adopted by the researchers. What a researcher does is he or she refers to the research work that is thesis or journal article which has got a reference list. They pick up from the reference list the articles or the references which are useful for their own topic. And this list goes on accumulating. These references goes on accumulating. How it happens? Because they will refer to that article which is useful. That article again will have a bibliography or references which again will be saved and we will see whatever is uh, useful there. And this list goes on. Our working bibliography goes on. And thus, the list of references goes on accumulating like a snowball. Now, in the databases that are available nowadays, there is something called forward tracking. This, is also, this also works like snowball technique. How it happens? Now, if the topic again is open access, then on open access, if I want the article, that is published in 2008. I have referred to that. But the databases will give me today, that is in 2017, it will give me the article that is referred to by so many people, the same article, how many people have referred to that, the references to these authors will be given to me by the database. This is forward tracking. So this way also my snowball will go on adding to. So my list will go on adding like a snowball. And this is a technique which is normally followed by all the researchers. Let us compare word search and concept search. To perform an effective keyword search, you need to know and design your own search strategy. Start breaking down your research question into its main topics. These should be concepts and not words. Why? We are going to see now. This is because concept search is more effective in research and it gives precision. Literature search uses the search strategies like use of Boolean logic while conducting concept search. Concept search is more precise whereas Word search is more time consuming and can miss synonyms. For example, if you give the word ladies, then the word women will be missed out in your search. If you give the word patterns, the word models will be missed. Instead, you can use Boolean logic in concept search and combine these words and make your search more fruitful. You can miss synonyms and differently spelt words also like color, theater, behavior in case of word search which is not done in concept search. 
Here, you also can use thesaurus, which will give you near terms, equivalent terms, broader terms, and narrower terms. There are thesauri in each discipline, we will get thesaurus, which gives shades of meanings of a term. It gives wider term, narrower term, synonym for the concept in a particular discipline. Hence, researchers are advised to use thesaurus in their own subject to get, get key terms or keywords for literature search. The researcher can refine the search for the articles with the use of Boolean logic. Now, and, or, not, and near are the Boolean operators with the help of which you can refine your search. And focuses the search or widens the search. Not also focuses the search by omitting whatever is not wanted. And near also makes it more refined. For example, adolescent near girl. So whatever you want in proximity, accordingly, you can search the document. So with and, you can say, you can focus. For example, adolescent and girls will give you all the documents on adolescent girls. Or can be used for synonyms. That is theater and theater. T-E-R and T-R-E. -E. So differently spelt words can be accommodated with or. Not. In not, you can say ladies, not women. So I want material in the articles in which the work ladies has come. For example, ladies clubs. I want the material on ladies clubs. I do not want women to come here because ladies clubs. Then accordingly, ladies, not women. Ladies and clubs, not women. So I do not want the material that is on women's clubs. So you can omit that uh, part of the search by using proper Boolean operators. We have seen the use of Boolean logic. Similarly, many of the databases give you a facility for wildcard search. Wildcard search uses symbols. An asterisk symbol is always used here, which replaces a character or characters in the word. This is called truncation. Now we can take some examples of wildcard search. If the word color is given like C O L asterisk mark and R, then it can give you the articles which have spelt C O L O U R and C O L O R. So both the spellings will be included. In case of behavior, C after O, if asterisk man mark is given, then both the spellings of behavior can be covered. Similarly, Theater covers T H E A T and asterisk mark. It will cover both the spellings T H E A T E R and T H E A T R E are covered while searching. Migrate M I G R A T and then asterisk mark. It allows for different variations like migrate. Migrated, migrating, migration. And many databases provide this searching facility, which makes your search easy. Summary. To sum up, we have covered snowball technique for searching the literature, the utility of concept search over word search, use of thesauri for finding the key terms and also 
the use of Boolean logic for searching the material. Thank you.